Are you ready to roll the dice? Thank you for coming to my channel. Today, I'm gonna play the match against David Wells. This is the first round of Super Jackpot at, in Monte Carlo. So I am talking now after the match. Okay, now the match has started. I, I wrote for free and David replied it for free. Then I wrote 2 1. Of course, I can make my bar point, but I didn't do that. I chose covering the 9 point and splitting my back checker. It's a small error. Hmm. Now, David rolled 3 1. This is a very interesting dice. Obviously, David had two good options. One is making the 5 point, another is covering the 9 point and splitting back checker. And my preference is covering the 9 point and split back checker. However, this is an error. This is a clear error. Why? Maybe because white has no board, the damage of getting hit is not gigantic. So just making the 5 point is better? Is that the reason? Yeah. So David made the same error as me. 5-3 for me. Uh, I don't have a fantastic option. So I just made the 3 point. And then David wrote 6-2. This is not a fantastic dice. Yeah, just running is the only reasonable option. By the way, David is one of the best players in the world. He's very strong. So 3 2 for me. Yeah, even though I have no daylight, and making the butterfly anchor is the best option. Oh, double 4. He's very happy to make the 5 point. Now, he's threatening me. 5 2, okay. I'm happy to make my 4 point. And then he wrote 4 1. Okay, it's not great for him. So moving 2 checkers from the 6 point. Yeah, he chose that and this is the best play. And the 5 1 for me. Yeah, so it's a very good dice. I'm very happy to fill my 5 point. And he also made a 4 point with 4 1. So we both have a very strong home ball. 3 2 for me. This is a this is not easy. So I have three good options. Two men down, slotting on the seven point, or six to four. So which is the best? Which is the best? Yeah. I think just two men down is fine. Even though I gave him six shots. He has an inner block. And surprisingly. Slotting on the 7 point is not bad. Oh, 6 4 for David. Now he's winning the game if I don't roll a 2 from the bar. This dice roll is very important. Oh, I missed. I danced. Uh, now, of course, he's doubling, and I don't think I can take this cube. It looks an obvious pass, but surprisingly, it's not too big pass. Wow, I cannot take it. No, it's impossible. So the score is 1-0 for David. Then we go to the second game. Yeah. Double three. No, we should reroll. Okay, 4-1 for David. And of course he chose split and down. It's a basic impact and I rolled 3 2. This is not a fantastic dice. All I can do is also split and down. Actually, I had two options to do split and down. 3 2 for David. One obvious choice is making a 21 point anchor, but he chose double hitting. And this is the best by far. It's a very good play by David. Only one checker came in, and he rolled 6 1. Of course, he's very happy to do. A hit and cover. Now I should roll well. Okay, 3 2 is a good dice. I think I could survive. Double 4? Oh my goodness. This dice is too strong. Now David has a 4 point board. I should come in. Actually, 5 4. It's a great dice. I can hit. I could survive. And 3 4 for David. He hits me again. So, again and again, I have to roll well from the ball. 
and uh, three four okay great making the anchor is so important for me and uh, but how do i play a four it's unclear do i hit on the two point yeah i did that and this is the best by four three one for him so again and again he hit me if i dance what's gonna happen Ooh, this is strong. I could come in. Uh, with a 4, I think... Uh, come up to the 18 point. Or hit, hitting on the 2 point again. Yeah, I don't want to have 3 back checkers. So, I came up. But, it's a blunder. What? It's a blunder? Oh my goodness. Oh, David didn't roll well. He missed. He missed. Now I had a, I have a good chance. 5-2. So first, let's cover the, the 11 point. Yes. Yeah. It looks an obvious choice. 3-1 for David. Now he upgraded his anchor. Now he's a bar point anchor. And 5-1 for me. Okay. First, I could play passively like... A to two, but I'm uh, behind in the race, so I, yeah, I, I played aggressively, and David is very happy to hit me. Now, I want to come in. I want to come in. Five two. This is good. I can upgrade my anchor, but sometimes having a deeper anchor is better. So I'm checking, but finally I decided to make the five point anchor. And of course this is better. 5-4 for blue. This is not great, but uh, maybe... Yeah, just uh, play safely. Oh! What? Play aggressively is the best choice. I'm surprised. I'm very much surprised. Okay, now 4-1 for me. So I chose double slotting on my 5 point and 4 point. I think this is it's a natural choice. Double six. This is not great for him. Now, he killed one checker on his one point. Double four. So first, I cover my five point. Then, what I can I, what I can do? Of course, I can cover my four point as well. But I don't have a good, uh, good. Uh, I don't have a good uh, last four. That's a problem. That's a problem. So maybe leaving the anchor or 39 might be the option. Oh. Actually, I chose to play 8 to 4 2 checkers. But it's a blunder. It's a blunder. The best play is 2012. Wow, I'm surprised. And what he wrote? 3-2. So of course he's happy to hit. Hitting the obvious. Then he chose uh, pick and pass. But it's also bland. Oh my goodness. Because my homeboard is strong. Because I have a blood on my 8 point. I danced. Now it's a big problem. Surprisingly, David didn't double. Did he think this is too good? Oh, okay, anyway. He wrote 2 1. And of course, he hit me and moved his both back checkers. Now, my two checkers are on the ball. And I danced. Wow. Now, this is too good. Yeah. Oh, he cashed. Because he killed two checkers on the ace point. Wow. Oh, it's a big too good. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Now the score is a 2 0 for David. Uh. So this is the first round of Super Jackpot in Monte Carlo. Okay, David's statue is 6-5, and of course he chose Lava's Leap. 
I also rolled 6 5. Yeah, I copied him. And David is happy to make the 3 point. 6 2 for me. All I can do is just running. But. And he hits me. Okay. So, blue is going well. I roll 2 5 from the bar. So, what I want to do is unstuck my midpoint. Okay. Actually, coming in with a 5 and play 13 11 is better. Hmm. That is interesting. And 6 4 for me. Yeah, of course, I made my 2 point. And 6 2 for David. He wants to cover his 11 point. Oh, but he. He ran his back checker to the 16 point. And this is the best choice. Good play by David. And I hit him with 4 2. Oh, it's a small error. I should have come up. To the 21 point. So 1 6 for David. Yeah, I like his play. Hitting on the 2 point with unstacking the heavy 8 point. 5 3. I couldn't hit back. So what is my 3? 11 8 or 9 to 6. It looks very close. This place looks close. Oh. Actually, this is not close. 8 to 5? Slotting on the 5 point? How is that possible? How is that possible? Okay, David rolled double 6. And he is trying to kill me. Okay, actually, it's a double grounder. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the best choice is making the bar point. And I wrote tremendous good dice, 5 6 from the ball. I'm very happy to hit 2. Okay, his 2 checkers came in. Now I had I have the initiative. So I'm thinking to double or not. I'm down in the score and David has 3 blocks. I have how many? 12 checkers in the zone. And I'm ahead in the race. Is it double? Uh, uh, so he has a stronger homebo. So, okay, I'm ahead in the race, and I have only one back checker, and I'm threatening, but his homebo is stronger. It's a big problem. Is it double? Well, okay, XG says this is small, no double. Hmm. So, doubling is not so bad. But I can wait. And over the board. Yeah, I didn't double. And I rolled 6-2. This dice is also not so easy. I can hit on the 18 point, but how do I play a 6? Or I can cover my bar point with a 2 and play A to 2. But my back checker will be in danger. Oh, hit and covering the 7 point. Yes. Actually, no hitting is slightly better. Wow, it's a very tough play. Double 1? It looks a joker. It looks a joker. He hit 2 checkers. Oh my goodness. Now I'm losing the game. I should roll a good number. Like double 1, double 4, double 5. If my two checkers come in, what's gonna happen? Okay, I danced. So it looks uh, too good. Yes, this is this is a huge too good. And David rolled four six. So first he hits me, then he bringing the builder on his ten point. Uh, this is better for yep, gammon. it's a good choice. So now I'm losing gammon. Mm. What? What? What a joker. Okay. Now I'm the favorite? Yeah, I'm the favorite. It's surprising. 5 2. So he tidy up 
did two blood. Okay, now it's also a very interesting position. Do I double? I'm behind in the score. And how about the race? Okay, I'm ahead in the race by seven pips. Is it double? I have some good chance. Yeah, and my advanced anchor is a is a it's a nice advantage. Yeah, I'm inclined to double. Yes, I did that, and it's a very strong double, and it's a take, but it's not a big take anymore. Three one for me is a very good dice. I have many options hitting two or hitting on the 17 point, but of course making the five point is the best by far. Now, hero 4-2, okay, it's a good dice, yeah, at least he made the advanced anchor, and hide one block on the 8 point, alright, I want to hit with a 2, 6-1 for me, oh, I cannot touch my back checker, so all I can do is hiding the block on the 15 point. Now, what's going to happen? Okay, 5-1. This is not a good dice for him. Now, I want to leave my anchor with good dice. 3-6. Can I leave un my anchor right now? No, I don't think it's a good idea. Okay. Oh, but surprisingly again, leaving the anchor is not a blunder. It's oh. Okay, David roll 2-1. And 5-3 for me. Maybe this is a perfect moment to leave the anchor. So double falcon. Yeah, leaving the anchor. So I can play 2015 and 2017. It looks a very strong option. Yeah, I like this play. And actually agree. This is the best play by far. Any others are blunder. Hmm. Yeah, I'm very happy that I could choose this play. Oh, but still, I'm wondering. I'm checking another uh, type of leaving the anchor. So the concept is that Blue has five checkers on his six points. So I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna Blue works his stuck checker. That's why double falcon play is the best. And then what he rolls? 4-2. Oh, he missed. Actually, it's a pretty bad dice. And he didn't have many options. Now, white is comfortable, but still... Yeah. But should leave a shot again. But now it's a single shot. I see only two options. One is 17, 13. Another is uh, 15, 12, 17, 16. Yeah, I have two options. And according to XG, these two options are close. So for me, it's hard to distinguish two, these two plays. Yeah, I spend lots of time. So maybe this is not a good way to uh, use time, practically. Yeah, but of course over the board, I didn't know these two plays are cross. Maybe these, these two plays uh, uh, could have a clear difference. Okay, David wants to hit me, but uh, again he missed. Yeah, coming up is a good choice. Yes, he doesn't want to have a three back checkers on my four points. Okay, five four. So only I have only one possible choice to hide two blocks. Yes, even though I make a two lot on my ace point, I didn't have any other good option. Now six five for David. Hmm. 
the bowling play is just play 16-5. It's a bowling play. Yeah, what else? He can intentionally leave the block on the 16 point. Oh, he didn't do that. Yeah, he chose a bowling play. And uh, it's the best. And my dice is 4 2. So, of course, I, I want to clear my 12 points. David is David happy to cover his whole point. Now, I'm happy to hide my blood. So, I am ahead in the race, but it's not gigantic. The, uh, the racing lead is not too big. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I'm ahead by 18 pips before the roll. Uh, so I have, I have enough racing lead. What? Now he's coming. Now he's coming. So still I'm ahead in the race, but now it's only by 4 pips. Wow. This is not an easy game. So I have option to fill my 4 points with a 2. But just uh, moving two checkers from the seven point is the best. Oh, he wrote a big number, double three. Now, David is ahead in the race by two pips. Okay, another good guy, double four. Uh, I cannot take any checkers off, but still, double four is good for me. Six two. And I roll 6-5. It's pretty good dice. Now my winning chance is 67%. Double 3. Wow. How many times he wrote doubles? Now David's winning chance is 43%. Yeah, 6-3 is a good dice for me. Double 4. Oh my goodness. This is the first time to roll doubles? Ah. Uh, and I roll 6 1. Okay. Now David is clearly the favorite. He's ahead in the race uh, by. Oh, actually, just by pip count, he's behind by 3 pips. But he has only 8 check cards left. While I, I have 8 check cards left. Yeah, David is a favorite with 72% winning chance according to XG. Because he is ahead in the score, I think this winning chance is not enough. Oh, and strangely, I'm talking uh, with the knowledge of uh, winning chance over the board. Of course, we never know exact winning chance. And uh, I can say this position is very hard to estimate the winning chance. Yeah, it's worth to spend the time because the queue might get to 4. Yeah, we should spend time yeah, to make the final decision when the cube gets bigger. Okay. Yeah, so so David has 8 check cards left. So probably he'll finish his bearing off. Uh, we, so 4 roll is very hard. So probably he'll finish his bearing off with in five rows and i also have five row positions so I, we can say this is a five row versus five row but if david is lucky he might finish in four rows yeah, but anyway oh okay he redoubled he redoubled and over the board i didn't know the winning chance and uh, yeah, this is not so comfortable for me because David might finish in 4 rolls and I'm guaranteed to finish uh, in 5 rolls except I roll double. So 5 roll versus 5 roll has uh, 70... no. 72%? Yeah, 72% winning chance. That's the idea structure with 5 rows versus 5 rows. So this position must have 
seven, uh, about 72% winning chance. Yeah, well, that's what I can say. But I cannot say exact winning chance. It's very hard to estimate. I think it's just coincidence that this position has exact 72% winning chance. Hmm. Wow. I spend lots of time. Yeah, again, it's worse to do that. It's worth doing that because the cube gets to 4. Yeah, this decision affects the whole entire match. So, what is my final decision? According to XG, it's a clear take. Dropping is a, blunt, a triple blunder. But over the board, I was wondering, thinking. Mm. I think I was checking the west stage. Yeah, west stage is a uh, pip loss in the bearing off. And we can say the west stage with numbers like 1, 2, 5, 10. So again and again, I can check the XG and see what is the wastage. Okay, uh, blue, David position has almost 14 wastage. And my position has uh, 17 wastage. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Mm. Yeah, I think I was estimating the wastage over the board. But it's not easy. Hmm. So pip count plus wastage is... Uh, we have there's some specific term. Uh, uh, I can't recall it. Yeah. Yeah, which is called sometimes adjusted the pip count but no 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 this is not correct no. so pip count plus wastage should be okay i took it i took it Ooh, i correctly took it david row five two five three so i have to roll double yeah that's my mission three one for him it's a poor dice but the question is, can I roll doubles? 4 3. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, he has to re roll. 6 4. It's a decent dice. Then. 3 2. Not double 2. Okay. Okay. All right, so David won the game, and now the score is 6-0 for David. Hmm. Wow, it is a big game. It's a big game with four cube. So now David is five away. I'm eleven away. So five away is a stupid score. I often say in my, on my video, especially uh, five away side has a big score lead. But then, blue should be very passive in offering a cube. I started with 3-2 and of course I chose two men down. And he replied with double five. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna split my back checker. I just focus on building my homeboard. I don't wanna split against ten checkers. And what? Double four. I think it's the best dice. Best dice should be double four or double six for blue. So he hit and fills a gap by making the four point. It would be my play as well, but actually says it's a small error. Hmm, interesting. And I don't know why. Oh, I danced. 
So now, blue has the huge advantage. As a normal score, it should be double pass. But surprisingly, at this score, it's no double take. If David will double, I will take. That's the specialty of this score. Okay, I came in with 5-2. Hmm. It's also unclear. I want to start on my 4 point with a 2. Yeah, that's why I came in with a 5. And this is the best choice by far. Hmm. Now David stop and start thinking offering a cube. As a normal score, it should be a very strong double. And uh, it looks a pass. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a it's a take. It's a no, it's a double take at a normal score. However, at this score, again, it's a big no double according to XG analysis. Wow. Yeah. So five away is a stupid score. Please remember that. Especially when 5 away side is ahead in, in the score. <laughs> if 5, five away side is behind in the score, then he might double aggressively because he's behind. So, still David is thinking whether he double or not. So I'd be very happy if he double. Yeah, he didn't. And 6 1 for him. So he had two good options. One is making the ball point, and the other is hitting the 5 point. Usually, making the 5 point is great, but with a gap on the 5 point, the value of the uh, bar point is not great. So he's inclined to hit on the 5 point. Yeah, maybe this is the best moment to take choose aggressive prey because white has no board with an inner block. Yeah, I think it's a bargain time. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting result. So in case he hits, 13 7 is the best. And making the bar point is also good. Mm. It's tough. And I replied with 5 6 from the board. I hit and cover, it's one of my best. And he danced! Oh my goodness, of course I offer the cube. Even though the opponent has a stronger home board. Yeah, especially at this score, it must be a tough cube. Yeah, this is not easy. This is not easy. Yeah, so over the board I thought it's a it's a pass. It's a pass. Yeah, that's what I thought of the board. Blue's check card is on, is on the bar, and blue leaves three brats. Yeah, three is too many. According to XG, it's a small pass. Wow, it's a pass, but it's small. That means taking is no problem. Yeah, taking is just fine. I'm surprised. Hmm. So my winning chance is only 62%. In other words, blue's winning chance is 38%. That's the reason blue can take this cube. Yeah. So I thought it's a clear pass over the board. So I is expected that David will take the cube. Yeah, that's what I was thinking over the board. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'd pass this cube easily if I'm a blue. Yeah, I cannot take it. Hmm. So I can hit blue checker with any one, three, four, five. 
So my bad numbers are the combination of two and six. So if I roll two six, this is not good. Double six is okay. If I roll double two, okay, double two is fine because I can hit on the nine point. So my six two is my worst. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, he correct. Uh, he took it. What a brave guy! So five four for me. So of course. I hit two checkers. Now three his three checkers are on the board. Then his one checker came in on my three point. Now I roll six four. I can make my two point or I can hit loose on the three point. So which is better? This is not easy. Oh, okay. I correctly made the two points. And the difference is 30. The difference is not too big. Now David rolled 3 1 from the ball. Now it's an easy game for him. Yeah, he secured a nice anchor. No checkers is on the ball. 6 1. I can hit on the 17 point. But after hitting, how many checkers I leave? This is amazing. Two, four, six. Wow. Two blocks. Two block. Uh, sorry, six blocks. I leave six. I scatter around six blocks over the board. So that's why, first, I, I thought uh, I'm checking the tidy up play. Yeah, but tidy up play is not so great. Yeah, I correctly hit. Ooh. He rolled double one? Oh wow. It's one of his best. Now I feel I'm a dead man. Oh double two. I can hit back. Actually it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, double two is my best dice from the board. So hitting it on the certain point is an option. After that, what I can do? I think I have two options. Making the midpoint or covering the ninth point. Which is better? I feel covering the ninth point is more valuable. Yes, that's what I did over the board. And this is slightly better. The difference is only 15. So he came in with 3-4. I roll 3 4 as well. I can hit, but then what's gonna happen? And still, I'm the clear underdog. Uh, sorry. No, it's not clear. Actually, my winning chance after 4 3 is 45%. It's not too bad. Okay, so my 4 is obvious. Now, I'm thinking about covering the 10 point or hitting loose on the bar point. Because white homeboy is stronger, hitting contest is not good for me. Yeah, actually, hitting is a double brander. Wow. Double five. It's not bad, but it's not a tremendous dice for him. Two one. Oh my goodness, what I can do. Do I secure the anchor on the 23 point? Yeah, his home board is very strong. I don't want to get attacked. But if I see the entire board, Blue has four back checkers. That means his power of attacking, blitzing is not too strong because of four back checkers. That's why I didn't secure the anchor. And this is good. I'm very proud of my choice. Now he rolls 3 2. Wow. His check up rate is pretty good. He correctly moved back checker forward. Mm. 
I roll 5 1. I want to come in to the 18 point. It's super important. But then, how do I play a 1? 24 23? Or 9 to 8? Or I, I make the 23 point anchor? Is that possible? Actually, making the 23 point anchor is pretty bad because white is ahead in the race by 16 pips before the roll. So stacking on the uh, so get get stuck on the 23 point is a wrong idea. So 23 18 is a must. Okay, I'm very happy that I chose a good play. Now he rolled 3 2. He cannot attack me. Yeah, it, it's an uncomfortable dice. He has to slot on the two point. He didn't have any good any other good options. Okay, I want to roll any ones, any sixes. Ooh, this is great. So 24-18 is a must. Then how do I play a five? I can go to the 13 point or I can attack on the one point. Yeah, just go to the starting point, it looks too dangerous. If he came in with a 5 3. Yeah, this is interesting. Hmm, so according to XG, leaving the anchor on the 20 point is the best choice. It's very difficult, very difficult. Okay, it's time to move him back to forward. And 6 4? He hits me? Oh, come on, please don't do that. Now, I have to roll well from the board. Oh, I guess. I guess. But he cannot double uh, because of the score. And 4 2 is not great for him. He cannot cover his 5 point. I think he can leave the blot on his 5 point. Because my whole board I mean my home board is not too strong. Yeah. So he has uh, two good options. One is making the 18 point anchor, another is making the 20 point anchor. So which is better? I would make the 18 point. Oh, mm. yeah, that's my choice. So according to XG, making the 20 point anchor is a obvious uh, bad play. No, I th uh, I'm sorry, I, I got confused. So the best choice is uh, go to the 20 and 18. That means make the 20 point anchor. That's the best choice. And second option is making the 18 point anchor, the ball point anchor. So he correctly chose the best play. That's good. I danced again, oh come on. Come on, this is not good. 6 4 for him. He cannot cover again? How is that possible? How is that possible? Yeah, he can make the 14 point or he can cover the 10 point, which is better. It's also unclear. Uh, yeah, after covering the 10 point, I have some jokers like 5 3, 5 4 from the ball. Mm. Oh, this 6 4 is tough. It's a tough choice. Mm. 
so David has 13 minutes left. Yeah, he has enough time to consider. And I have how many time I have? 10 minutes? Yeah, I think I have oh, 11 minutes. So it's not too bad. Yeah, this is not easy. David spent a lot of time for this play. Mm. So practically, when we spend a lot of time and when we play quickly, it's very important. Okay, he correctly chose making the, the 14 points. Now, 3-2 for me. I danced again too many times. So finally, David uh, closed up his 5 points. Ah, his position is super strong. Okay, let's reload. Oh, no, I, I just danced. And full one for David. Yeah, he's bringing down builders for his one point. He danced again. Five four. So top two play plays are equal. Then I, I'm, I keep dancing. And three two for blue. Now he has three builders for his one point. I danced two one. So small dice is not great for him. Hmm. Yeah, two one. What makes difference? What makes difference? Okay, his choice is fine. Now one checker came in, and each time for blue to attack. Yeah, he hit with a three. I want to roll one again to make the anchor. No, I couldn't do that. Alright, he completed a close out. No, I cannot do much. 5 3 for blue. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is five three. Oh, I'm sorry. I got confused. I got confused. Okay, now he wrote double two. Yes, this is a correct position. Yeah, he's very careful. Because I have six checkers in in my outfield, his chance to win Gamo is pretty high. According to XG, it's 81%. That's why he can play conservatively. Against and 2-1 for him. Okay, one checker came in. He keep playing safely. Yeah, safety is very important in this position. 5 1 for me. 4 and 5. And now the game is boring. No, there's no excitement. And I feel I'm going to lose Gammon. 4-3 Okay I feel I spent too much time for this position so 
three one. Now five four for me. Yeah, can I save gammon? Actually, if I roll big one double, I one two three four no. Still not easy. Oh, but blue structure is also not good. His ace will be pretty bad. Four three. Whoa. Oh, I'm losing gammon. Well, well, well. I should expect that blue will roll one. Yeah, that's my hope. Hmm. Not easy. Yeah, he's checking many options. Okay, he finished. He finished. Now, he won Gammon and got 4 points. The score will be 10-0 for yeah. David. Yeah, let's take a break. Let's take a break. Ah. I've lost worse than this. We all have okay, now, we restart the game. This is a Crawford game, 10-0, but I'm oh, trying to win this match. Yeah. That's what I want to do. So I started with 6-4 and he replied with 5-2. Of course, he hit on the one point. And my 3 is not great. Yeah, all I can do is uh, hitting loose on the 3 point. And then... 2-6 from the ball. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no. Maybe not. Maybe no. not. Maybe it was a bad thing. Yeah, he correctly hit on the bar point. What? I danced? Oh, come on. Please don't do that. Six four for him. I'm pointing on the two point. Now, my two checkers are on, on, on the bar and I leave two blocks. Okay, only one check card came in. I'm in danger. Wow. He hit, hit, hit. He put my three check cards on the board. But he leaves two blocks. What is my dice? I danced? Oh my goodness. It's horrible. And 6 1. This is not great. He only covered his one point. Now, what is my dice? Double three! Okay, okay. I'm going to survive. I'm going to survive. And 2 1 from the bar. He had two good options. One is hitting, and another is covering the four point. Which is better? Actually, this is not easy. This is not easy. I'm inclined to cover the 4 point yeah, because of course the 4 point is valuable but XG says hitting is slightly better now double 3 for me it's a great dice I can make my 5 point and cover the 10 point uh, 3 point then what is the last 3 I can one man down from the midpoint or I can hide my blood on the 9 point or 5 point ok my play is fine and 5 4 for him. Double 6. Wow. First, I'm happy to make my bar point and I can hit. Wow. It's my best dice by far. By far. <laughs> David. Uh, I understand his feeling. Okay. Now I feel my 4 point and what is my last 2? Okay, I put uh, one checker at the edge of the prime. He danced. 6-2. I cannot cover my 8 point. So it's time to leave my anchor to the 14 point. Now I, I can cover my 8 point with any 5s or and any 
sixes. His one four is not great. Okay, one two. So of course I'm very happy to hit, but to have now. I hide my blood on the 8th point, but it's a small error. He rolled 2 1. He made the second anchor, but of course he don't have a great timing to do a back game. The hitting or not was not so easy, but uh, I hit because I'm very happy to win back game at this score. Yeah, winning gamma is not good, but winning back, back, back gamma is great for me. 5-1. Do I sort on my 8 point to complete a fruit prime? It gives him a direct shot of a 6, but for blue, it's not easy to hit that checker. He has to leave his anchor and he has inner block on his 3 point. So slotting on the 5 point, 8 point it might be a good choice. Oh, but I didn't do that. And actually, slotting on the 8 point is not so great. Now, 5-2, okay, six, yeah, blue is very happy to roll a 6, any 6 is good for him, and I couldn't hit. Do I complete a full prime? Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Double 5, now he has to crunch his homebo. I think it's his worst dice. Okay, I have to break my full prime. Double two, wow! Now he has only two point board. Oh, uh, it was his illegal play, so I corrected it. Not so bad, see? <laughs> Five four, it's a false play. Six four, he has to leave the anchor. I'm going to attack now. Yes, with the ace, I hit loose. And then he couldn't hit back. I'm happy to cover my two point. Double two. Okay. Again, he killed many checkers. Now it's time to clear my bar point. He couldn't roll a 6. 3 1. Of course, I take one checker off. Yeah, it's obvious choice. He couldn't roll a 6 again. Yeah, let I take one checker off. Oh, his position getting worse. 3 2. I can take one checker off. Yeah. I want to win back him. Yeah, I'm very happy that his three back checkers stay on my one point. My wish is winning back him. Oh, finally, his one checker came out. And four three. Okay, now my chance of winning back him is pretty small. Yeah. Okay. Five one for him. Five two. Can I take two checkers off? No. Actually, taking two checkers off is not so bad. Oh, double five. So my backgammon is over. And actually, I'm not going to win gammon as well. Yeah, I feel my gammon is over, but not 100%. Actually, yes, it's 100%. No yeah, it's a single game. So let's go to the next game. Now the score is 10-1 for David, and it's a post Crawford. I can double! Okay. So if I keep winning 4 points, yeah, in 3 games, I do win the match.
six and six. Three and three. Okay, I started with six two. And of course I chose split and down. Basic and back and this three two is not great. Okay, I'm gonna double, of course. And he can use a free drop because I'm the favorite. It must be a pass. Yeah, he correctly drops a Q. Now the score is 210. Because I'm 9 away, David does not have a free drop anymore. I started with 6 1, of course. I made the bar point. He also made a bar point as well. And do I double now? Okay, I did that. It's automatic double. And I roll 6 1. So I'm inclined to slot on the 5 point. Yeah, I want to win Gammon. But I didn't do that. Actually, uh, these two plays are equal. His double 3 is pretty good. Yeah. Moving, uh, making the advanced anchor is uh, is an obvious option because he, he doesn't want to lose gamble and he correctly made that three point double two. I can make that nine point or I can make the five point. Yeah, because my gamble price is high, I made I correctly made the five point two one for him. It's a typical case that uh, yeah, he can make the 5 point with sacrificing the bar point. Oh, this pick and pass looks super ugly. I'm against it. So his option should be leaving the 8 point or making the 5 point. Oh no! I'm wrong! Pick and pass is the best according to XG. Oh my goodness, but why? Wow. It's because of the score? Actually, at any score, yeah, pick and pass would be the best choice. Uh, I need to run, I need to study this play. I cannot realize it. So I, I wrote poor dice for one. And David rolls 6 4, and he's very happy to cover the bar point. Then he's thinking how to play a 4. He has to leave a shot anyway. So that's why he's trying to fill the 4 point. Filling the gap is pretty important in backgammon. Yeah, he correctly chose the best play. It's a good, good one for David. Wow! I wrote a tremendous dice. I hit two and made the two point. It's my best dice by far. Okay, his one checker came in. I want to fill my three point. I want to move my back checker forward. With six three, yeah, I can move my back checker. 1 6, so he came in. How to play a 6? He can come to the to come to the 18 point, 16, uh, 15 point, or 7 point. So, which one is the best choice for him? It's not easy. In terms of avoid losing gammon, yeah, 21 15 looks too dangerous. Oh, okay. Yeah. So coming to the 18 point is the worst. David's choice is fine. I wrote 1 5. So hitting the 10 point is obvious. Then I can hit on the 1 point. Yes. I believe this is the best choice. Oh, I didn't do that. And actually, my play is fine. Yeah, attacking on the one point is also okay. And he came in with a one. Three one. I cannot hit him. Actually, it's a bad dice. What I can do? Six to two? 
It's super ugly. What else? 8 to 5, 6 to 5. Now I have 6 checkers on my 5 point. Yeah. Yeah, putting a third checker on the 2 point is ugly, but the. Uh, is the best uh, uh, so far and the five one is a happy set pack uh, but with the one he could do pick and uh, pick and pass and pick and pass is the best i hit back he danced now i want to feel my three point All three. Yeah, I cannot do match. Double four. Okay. So again, I want to fill my three points. Okay, alright. Yeah, now I finally I, I did that. I'm very happy. David filled his four points. Two one. What I can do? Leaving two broth in the outfield. Oh, sorry. This is double one. This is double one. Oh. My choice is a blunder. Oh my goodness. He slotted on the 2.51. I feel I have to leave my 11 point. Yeah, I think so. Actually, I did that over the board, but uh, it's a small error. 8 to 2 is the best choice according to XG analysis. David missed. He came out, but uh, this is not great. Yeah, just covering the 2 point is the best according to XG. Hmm. Yeah, I easily understand uh, his reasoning. Yeah, after 8 to 2. He doesn't have a spare checker. If he rolls the combination of 1, 2, and 4, he would ruin his homework. That's what he wants to avoid. Okay, 5, 2. Yeah, this is easy. And 5, 4. Now I want to clear my 8 point. Wow, it's one of my best dice. It's tremendous good dice. Now I have a good chance to win Gammon. 3-1. Of course, I'm happy to clear my 6 point. 4-1. He has to leave the anchor. 6-5, good dice. 5-4 And then, what I can roll? 3-1 Yeah, I have only one option to play safely 5-1 I want to roll well Oh, I left a shot I left a shot And he had the best possible fight on board Oh, he missed. He missed. I got lucky. Now, 3-2 for me. Good dice. 3-1 for David. He's thinking about leaving the anchor. Yeah. He chose a good one. 2-1. I left a shot again. Wow, so any two will be great for him. And he hit me! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So 1 6 and double 1 will be Joker for me. Okay, at least I rolled 1. This is very important. And he danced? Any 6s! Any 6s for me! No, no. 3 1. So he's very happy to attack on my one point. Can I roll a one again? Nope. 
Okay, he cannot close out with this die six three. All right, one six from the ball. My best dice, and he danced. How is that possible? Six three. Okay, this is not great, but it's okay. He missed again. I want to roll a big number. Small dice will be uh, crazy. Yes, double four is big enough. Even though I left a shot. Oh, he missed! He missed! Actually, no, I have a chance to win backgammon. Oh. I'm going to win backgammon! How is that possible? I won backgammon. Now the score is 8-10 for me. What a game! What a game! It's a crazy game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I got excited. Ooh. So if I win Gammon in the next game, I do win I will win the match. Okay. 3 1 for me. I got the best turret. And he has no free drop. Yeah, he just took it, of course. And 5 1 for me. This is not great dice. I chose down and uh, diversify my checker on the 6 point instead of splitting. XG says these two plays are equal. 2 1 for David. He correctly made a 5 point. It's a very good play for David. 2 1. I'm happy to make my 4 point. Now I'm going for Gammon. 3 2. He also made a 4 point. So our structure is pretty similar. Very similar. Double 3. I complete the 5 prime. Now I'm the favorite. 5-4 for him. I want to hit with 6-2. 4-1. I have to split my back checker because he's going to build a prime. Yeah, splitting is mandatory here. And 5-2. He also splitted his back checker. Oh, split and down is also fine. A split and hit is, is also fine. Oh, double 2. It's a nice dice. Now, he check is on the ball against my best possible 4 point board. He danced. Okay, it's time to attack. First, I hit with a 3. And then, I bring in the builder from the midpoint. Yes! Oh, he danced! I can cover any 6s, any 7s. What is dice? 3 2. Okay, this is not great. I cannot cover. Yeah, I want to diversify my checker as a builder for my 2 point and 1 point. Yes, this is fine. Okay. Double 1? What is this? It's super good. It's super good. Wow. Actually, he split his back checker, but uh, it's a blunder. It's a blunder. He should keep he should have keep, uh, kept his uncle. 6 3 for me. And double 2? Of course, he's happy to pointing on the 2 point. And then, what is the last 2? Yeah, it should be 8 to 2. Oh uh, no, he wants to make the bar point. Yeah, his choice is fine. I danced. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now David is a favorite. 5-1. Oh, he's killing me. He's killing me. So two, uh, hitting 2 checker is the best uh, according to XG. But he chose 
24th, 23. He avoided to roll round anti joker, double five. But actually, double five is not anti joker. Yeah. He can make the bar point with double five. That's why hitting two is the best here. And of course, uh, winning Gammon doesn't matter for Blue. It's also uh, make him and uh, not hitting on the 17 point. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's not an easy choice. I'm not sure what I will do over the board. Yeah, this is a tough choice. Maybe I can think about my joker. So my joker is double one, double three, double three. So after he uh, put my three jokers on the board, I have no joker. My double one, du my double three is not a tremendous dice. But after this play, my double three, double one will be great. And maybe that's the reason. Okay, I danced again. What I can do? Double two. This is not great for him. I think now he starts thinking about my double one and double three. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, what I, what I knew is he cannot make a blunder. It's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. All possible candidates are very close. The difference is small. Yeah. 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 Still he has 5 minutes left. So he can spend uh, enough time. And I have 9 minutes left. Oh, I'm surprised. Often, uh, I spend lots of time in my match. So here, still I have enough time left. Yeah, avoiding my joker is important, I think. Okay, he made his choice. Alright, I came in with a 1. Now David wants attack on his 1 point. Yeah. He should stop. I make the second anchor. Oh, I danced. Can he cover? No, he cannot. So still I have a chance to roll a 1 from the ball. And double 1 will be my best. No. Now he is a favorite to cover his 1 point. Okay, he did that. Uh, Alright, one check came in. It's a tough game, finally. 3-4. He correctly clear his A point. I keep dancing. 5 1. So here his mission is clearing the 6 point. So that's why I like his choice. And the FC agrees with that. Okay. Now my two checkers are on the board. 6-2 for him. Yep. Now he has only two check cards on his 6 point. So next, he is likely to clear his 6 point. Alright, he did that. What is my good dice? Maybe double 6? 5-2 eh. for him. This 
This too is not easy. This too is not easy. What's the difference? What's the difference? If there is no difference, just taking checkers off will be better. But according to XG, 4 2 is better. Hmm. Because clearing the 5 point and clearing the 4 point is the theme for blue. Yeah, maybe that's the reason. Yeah, I realize that. Okay, I danced. But for me, it's not a big deal. Yeah, my concern is he leaves the blood and I hit it. Six three, okay, he clears a five point. Now he has only one mission left. Yeah, clearing the four point. Oh he leave a shot. Now I got three one five one six one I got seventeen shot. Oh come on, come on. I missed. I missed. Okay. If I dance, then I might get a chance. I danced! How is that possible? Not easy. Not easy. Okay! Everyone. Come on, David! Never easy. Come on! Please leave a shot! Easy. Oh. Easy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He didn't leave Not a easy. shot. Well, well, well. Alright. Thank you, David. I came in. And the game is over. Yeah, congratulations, David Wells. What is a PR? Okay. Yeah. I was down by 0 10, but uh, yeah, at some point I was a favorite. Yeah, let's check the position uh, before he rolls at double one. Yeah, at that point, my game winning chance was 14, 47.7%. So I think I was a favorite to win the match at that moment. <laughs> but everything is over. It's nothing. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and leave any comments. I wish you good luck and good dice. Bye for now.